want to connect through Ableton Link on a Wi-Fi connection so that we are all synchronized. If you look at the screen, a big screen, you see that in your preferences, make sure that your audio is set to ACO driver. If you are Windows, uh, if you are on Mac, you are core audio. If you go to the next tab, it says link, you will see that this one, first one, show the link toggle, it should be on. Okay, it should be lighted up and start top thing should be on. So if I go to the top left hand corner of my screen, you will see that there is a button for me to press which says link. Now link is on, I've, I'm linked to two computers. Yeah, so now that we are linked to two computers, as I change the tempo, can you see your tempo changing as well? Yes. I'm changing. Oh, who hacked my computer? So we are all connected now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load in a drum kit. I'll load in a drum kit into the first one. In session view. Huh? I've loaded in a 909 kit. And I'm going to double click the first slot in session view. Which will create for me a blank MIDI clip. Now with this blank MIDI clip, I'm just going to put in... Oh, I always switch on this headphone so that I can hear. So I've got this. I'm also going to switch on the oh. pencil tool so that every time I click, I end up drawing one. So I'm just drawing a very simple bit here. Slowly, slowly. So when I yeah. press on the play button, Okay, who else is connected? Okay, so here's what you need to do. You've got an empty slot at your 909 kit here, right? Mm -hmm. Double click and you can see you, now you've got a clip. Now switch on the pencil tool, top right hand corner. See the pencil tool? Just put like a... What's a good one? Switch on the pencil tool. Yeah, okay, that's good. Then you just draw in. Don't, don't, don't do a kick drum because it's already there. Oh, okay. Do something uh, else. Snare. Like trip, snare. Trip, triplet snare. That's right. Uh, Wow, offbeat snare. Okay, Nothing's now press play on this and you will synchronize. Oh, okay. Okay, that's terrible. Uh, uh, maybe just half the amount, the number of snares. Yeah, too much snare. Why don't you just do on the two and the four? Yeah. Oh, oh, on the two and the four. Okay, so now while he is trying to do this, I got a bunch of somebody else stuff. link up. I got a bunch of 808 stuff. Okay, uh, stored next, right Yirung. Okay. Uh, what key are you in, Yirung? Uh, C. 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 Okay, let me just pick the sound so it's not so annoying. Wait, can I not? Okay, you are in C, yeah? got a bass running you can choose to add another instrument let's choose a synth lead or something go to sounds choose something like a synth lead just draw any of them on onto a midi channel i should choose the abg right okay okay double click on that first empty slot okay now he's in c right so just put anything in the key of c you want to do C minor? Okay, then do C minor. C minor. To make it easy, you click on the scale, scale, click on scale, choose C minor. And then you click on the scale button, so it will show you only C okay, notes. Yeah, now anything that you click in will be in C minor. Okay, when you're ready, press play on this, press the play button.
but it's no, 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 this one, this one, this one. This one. And what okay. else? <laughs> okay, so if you want to do anything to this, so right now, let's say you want to do some changes, mm -hmm. you can duplicate this and you'll end up with double the length. Duplicate. Yeah. Yep. So now you can you can delete some of these on this side. Okay. E flat. Okay. Okay. If you want to make even more changes, you can click on this clip, duplicate it. Right click on this clip and duplicate. Oh, or you can also start the empty clip. I'm sorry, you were right. You can uh -huh. actually start the empty clip. Start the empty clip. The, the yeah. Like just yeah. And then you can just make new notes. Okay. When you're ready, then you start this clip. See, it's not playing yet, right? When you're ready, then play. Okay, I'll be for Matthew. <laughs> I'll try to do that. See, interesting, right? Sure. Uh, what would you like? Let's just load up something like um, uh, just a bell, bells, bells. Bells. Yeah. Basic bells. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to make an arpeggio. Okay. Just make. Um, again, we're going to go to. To scale, scale here, scale, 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 C minor. Okay, switch on the scale button so that everything you play will be in scale. Okay, just play a chord that's gonna sustain through the whole. Just play, uh, one, one enter, note. enter in one solid note across. Yeah, no, um, one note, one note is enough. Just stretch it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, another note? No, no. Um, C lah, C. Okay. Now we drop in an arpeggiator. Which is? MIDI, under MIDI effects. Clear the search. Drop in arpeggi- Double click arpeggiator. You can do a classic up down, double click yeah. Let's like drag it onto here. Okay. Or drag it onto the MIDI track itself yeah. Okay, now you play. Play, play here. Oh. And you can change the style. No 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 no. Straight. Change the style. You can change the number of steps. You can make it re-trigger at different rates. Beat. So turn it to like something like three quarters. And then you can change like this one to go down, up, down, converge, diverge, try, try different ones. Okay, I think it's but you change number of steps you can tell right? Yes. And then you can change the rate, change it to one quarter. Okay, can you change your melody?
filmed.